but I do have like I do like competitive games a lot and um I don't know there's like a lot of just crazy bullshit for hero shooters in general and it's not really the way I like playing games I think I honestly dude if I grew up in an era where Quake was like one of the most popular games I think I would absolutely love Quake because I, I, I love games that are like really mechanical not RNG I think Quake has maybe a little bit of spawn RNG to it I could be wrong though but I I'm like the least biggest fan of RNG and like a bullshit mechanics that make it so players that have less mechanical skill can kind of catch up to players that um, do have mechanical skill like that's why I don't like there's some stuff in Overwatch I don't like I don't like the characters that can like auto aim for an example I find that just fucking horrible like Moira if you you just like kind of put position your crosshair near someone and it would do um, you would just kind of like auto track them like I think tracking is like a really like important um, skill and I'd rather the character like have skill and do more damage for like tracking rather than it being auto aim I think that's like much more cooler like I think that I think it'd be better honestly you just add in more skill elements um, and put away like the the stuff that makes it so because it, it, it feels good to play something and get good at it it doesn't feel good to play something and you know that there's like this really hard skill ceiling to a character because that's just how it was designed and honestly th I, that's just my opinion about stuff everyone likes different games so when i do like competitive games i like it where someone can get so fucking good at something that it becomes um like unbelievable and like that's that's why when i was um that's why you started out cs right because it's mainly yes that's actually cs i would say is still probably like csgo is still like my first love when it comes to a video game i mean i had put whatever over like ten thousand hours into the game and every single day it felt like i could improve on something and that it wasn't like there wasn't a ceiling i would be learning new smokes be learning new flashes i'd be learning how to play situations a lot more better i'd be learning how to play better as like a teammate and be more of a team player and at the same time like i was getting better with my spray transfers i was getting better with my move my movements i was able to like do these skill jumps that people couldn't do before um i could hit a bunch of bunny hops to make me break timings and get to places faster um and stuff like that i think that was like one of the biggest aspects of cs that i just fell in love with was the unlimited growth potential and i mean it's an honor to play against the players that are just unbelievably gifted and also put in the effort to be as good as they are like trust me if if you guys ever played against in like simple zaiwu nico like zantara's like all these players are just like insanely good at cs it, you will understand that like you just can never beat them and it's just because it's a skill death and that's just how it is but honestly i'd rather i'd much rather it be a skill diff where someone way better than me just can shit on me every time than me who's worse than them being able to have like a chance sometimes like i i if i'm way worse than someone i would like to be fucking kicked into the dirt over and over and over until i actually am able to get better i think that's like one of the things with like what i think one of the things that made me become a really competitive gamer too and it made me like achieve for improvement was whenever i'd play games before when i was younger too i would always without a doubt set my game to the hardest difficulty because it felt like i was actually challenged in what i was doing and through that challenge it allowed me to actually figure out either a like to defeat whatever i'm doing mechanically or to do like number two figure out a strategy within my mind to outplay whatever is happening and so that that kind of stuff to me like I, that's why i do i actually really really love um souls like games for that reason i think they're really freaking awesome i i haven't finished like elder ring before but i've actually beat uh i beat sakura and the thing about sakura that i loved as a game was everything is so fucking hard even like these small little grub monsters and like these npcs they're just so 
hard to beat. But when you like figure out their attack patterns, when you get better at the game, when you know how to read the movement and stuff better, and you know how to like parry uh, and stuff like that, it actually felt so rewarding to become way better and look at yourself from the start of the game to later on in the game where your improvement is at and how much like different you are uh, mechanically in, in the game. And then also through that, through that thing, like when something does happen and you just end up losing, the only thing you can blame is yourself. And honestly, I enjoy that the most. When, whenever you, you find something difficult and you're just like unable to do it, I, I find it a lot more enjoyable for being like, holy, f like I was the problem. Like I was the issue and I need to like get better.